Hi, this is Megan Bax with the XP Realty Seabock team. I'm here at 6699 South Pewter Way. This home is a Beezer home uh, built in 2004, five bedroom, three bath, on just under, let's see, not 8,700 square foot lot. And it's 2961 square feet, so a big two story. This one has been on the market 68 days and started at 435. They're now priced at 420. So you've got the nice tall ceilings here in this formal space. Probably a great use of this would be, um, you know, a piano room or your formal um, living area, maybe a dining area. You've also got this space, which it looks like was set up to be the formal dining. Uh, might make a nice office. You can kind of flex it in a number of different ways. This is your pantry and laundry. Um, in general, needs some repair. It looks like we've got signs of water damage. Looks like the pan over or the uh, water heater may have overflowed. Definite signs of termites throughout the property. Um, stem walls looking real rough. Um, in general, um, needs a lot of work. 24 inch uh, diagonal ceramic tile. Downstairs, you've got about a one inch baseboard. It's painted white on white. Nice big kitchen. Um, you just kind of got your regular height cabinets in here. Level one or two granite. Um, the glass tile backsplash. Really nice, you do have a five burner gas range. These are Samsung appliances. No refrigerator with this one. The refrigerator, washer, and dryer are considered personal property. So some properties will convey with those, um, but most without. So got an RO system, that's that second faucet there. Um, top button dishwasher, little island with a breakfast bar. You've got the built-in desk, so a lot of potential here. Um, and then kind of a small great room, but still plenty of room. You've got that um, wall coming out there so you can tuck your TV and furniture back in there. Um, but if you put a table kind of in this space, then it's a little bit smaller area here. As we go outside, um, lots of big two stories around you. You've got three of them, one on every every side here, except for this one. Um, nice big side yard. You got dual air conditioners back here, your gate, a little storage area, pool um, with the heater. You got a hot tub, um, artificial grass, but it's in pretty rough shape. Um, over here, we've got a pebble tech or a pebble sheen pool. Not sure why that pipe's sticking out. That would be something I'd have a question about, but hot tub, nice big bench over here. And then you've got the rock water feature. And another AC unit on this side. Exterior wise, um, I mean, it's about due for an uh, exterior paint. Um, again, we've got some signs of um, water damage, potential termites and things um, here as well. So um, this property is owned by uh, Open Door, which is uh, an affiliate of SoftBank. Um, it's an institutional buyer that buys your home for cash. Um, so kind of a funky floor plan down here. We've got this space with a laminate flooring that's lifting. Nice big window though. Um, and then kind of where they've made it into um, a bedroom by adding a closet space, I guess. But there's no um, bars or anything to hang anything on there. French doors in here. I'm guessing mostly people would use this as an office. Um, back here, again, this was probably an optional third car bay. So you've got something about the size of a, a one car bay. It does have heating and cooling piped in here, but you can see it's been added on. 
Um, and then they've added a closet in here. You've got that same laminate flooring. You can see it's lifting and things. So in general needs um, some updated flooring. Um, this is a nice big storage area. Goes under your stairs. Doubles as a coat closet. Um, so that's down. <clears throat> They've done the laminate on the stairs again. Um, I think it's about due for replacing. Um, it's looking pretty, pretty beat up. Um, up here we have a huge ma um, master suite. Cultured marble, um, it's a regular height. But we had all these on still. Big shower in cultured marble, walk-in closet, separate water closet, and then a big linen. Sorry, I'm missing some lights here, but nice big walk-in. Little loft space, the closet there, and then you've got a closet here. You got a nice space for desks or whatever there. Um, secondary bathroom. I love the white cabinet, and then it's got a real thin. This is probably a one piece from Home Depot or something. Square sink. And it's got a custom tile shower. Those are just uh, seals failing on the window. That'll need to be um, repaired or replaced. Hitting and missing on the lights here. Um, another bedroom, wall to wall closet. Got the faux wood white lines in here. And then another nice big bedroom. This one has a lot of natural light. Some of the smaller windows too. And then this built-in closet. So in general, lots of square footage, um, neat floor plan, but it definitely um, needs some repairs um, and some updating to get it where I think you're gonna want it. So let me know what your thoughts are. Megan Back, Seabock Team, EXP Realty.